And I don't think that we can approach cultural competence unless we do it in an anti-racist way. Um, and that's where that comes from. Uh, I think colonial culture has a history of treating people of color and people who come from non-white cultural communities um, as a cultural zoo. Um, hmm. And there is documentation of human zoos. Um, National Geographic is very much um, you know, that type of cultural zoo. And as a result of that, we approach people of color and their culture and their world perspectives um, as an anthropological exercise. You know, as Ellen Cleghorn said, you know, why is it that uh, the famous uh, Saturday Night Live uh, female black comedian, she's like, why is it that, you know, uh, when white women are naked, it's pornography, but black women, when they're naked, it's anthropology. Mm -hmm. And we really, and I, so when we approach cultural competence, for me, the dilemma here is that we tend to other people and it's as if people are walking around in a zoo or they are looking into a fishbowl and they don't recognize that they too swim in the same water as we do and that the work to become culturally competent is really the work to become anti-racist.